Hey guys, Rodia or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another State of the Game recap. Now, this is going to be a little bit different because what I'm going to do is do the State of the Game recap separately to all of the massive news we've got today regarding 1.8. So in this video, we're just going to cover some of the fixes and what 1.8 is bringing. And then over the course of the next couple of days, I'm going to have some more in-depth videos with first-hand experience skill along with it to give you the very best insight to 1.8 update as it can get. So anyway, let's get straight into it. So there's been a couple of bug fixes, retro commendations. There was a bug there where players weren't rewarded their commendations when they should have been. That's been fixed. The RPM glitch, they're aware of it and they have a fix. It's not been deployed yet, however but if you do use it you will be banned so guys don't use it don't abuse it keep in mind that they're watching you and that they are trying to fix this as soon as possible the granting of masks is happening very soon so if you feel you deserved a mask then you're more than likely going to be getting one over the next couple of days Sticking on the subject of masks, in Global Event 2, they will actually be tied to the Global Event playlist commendations rather than leaderboards. Leaderboards will now grant you classified gear caches. The bolt action sniper rifle bug is being fixed, but this is going to be a client side fix, so unfortunately this could take a little bit longer. Finally, the delay of Global Event 2 isn't too much of a delay. They've actually caught up on a lot of time and only expect it to be a one to two week delay. So hang tight, we still have no date for it, but they are working as hard as possible to get this to us as soon as possible. Now, 1.8, what is it bringing? First up, 1.8 is free and it's one of the biggest updates the Division game has ever received. So you don't need any season pass, you don't need to pay anything to get this update. It will be free and as soon as it's released, you'll be able to download it. In 1.8 you'll be getting two new main activities and that is a PvE mode called resistance or a horde mode so waves of enemies the higher the wave the tougher the enemies. The enemies are all four factions combined. You'll be getting a new 4v4 PvP mode called skirmish. This will take place in the new area we're also getting in 1.8 called west side piers. The maps are small fast paced with a little bit of verticality. These are very good maps, I've played them myself. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this video because like I said, I'll have a separate one up very soon regarding that. So within the new map expansion, Westside Piers, there's gonna be two zones. I don't actually have the names for them yet. I believe one of them's called Clinton, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a very PVE based zone. It's gonna act completely different to the ones we already have. There's gonna be something called Alerts or Westside Pier Alerts, and these will pop up on your map and you'll have to go to them. They're kind of like mini side missions but a lot more cooler really interactive and obviously all of the enemies are combined together you might get ambushed or you might have a couple of minutes to set up but these alerts look super cool and something i've always wanted so that's going to be a new safe house or as they described it on the stream a new terminal and this is going to be called camp clinton here you can have everything that the terminal already has so you're going to have new vendors new recal tables and everything like that and finally guys they touched on division tech changing division tech is now going to be used to optimize the gear you already have as well as other resources so PSA keep your division tech stockpile it for 1.8 also just as I was listening back to this audio I remembered there's going to be another special event this weekend this is going to be extra named boss drops so that's going to be from about Friday all the way to Sunday evening but guys, that wraps up for the state of the game recap. Obviously, like I said, stay tuned to this channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe because I've got some really exciting content on the way. Hopefully a couple of hours after this video, I'll have a resistance or horde mode in-depth look going up. So like I've already said, make sure to subscribe. But guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then let me know by either leaving a comment or by clicking that like button. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.